folks of the Pac-12 met, George Klyovkov, the commissioner uh, in this uh, conference, giving information to the presidents of the Pac-12. Here are some some, I guess you could say, response and feedback from reporters. One, Jason Shear, who will join us again today in about an hour. It has been confirmed by Pete Thamel. Apple was the deal presented today, and there's escalators based on subscriptions. So in other words, kind of like a bonus pool based on subscriptions. Then Brett McMurphy had this today earlier, and this is like in the last hour, the biggest blowback on the Pac-12's possible primary apple media rights deal with incentive bonuses it's a very challenging for schools to accurately budget annual revenue this is of course what he was told at the action hq network uh it is also based on some of the reading i've had in the last hour pac 12's been through this incentive laden thing before when larry scott was the pac 12 commissioner based on the pac 12 network it did not work out so well no uh uh, as a longtime stand-up comedian, so I'll tell you that the the one kind of show I'll never do is what's called a bringer show, where you only pay me if I bring ten people to the show. My job is not to fill your club. My job is to or promote your club. My job is to go on stage and do that. So while I might bring some friends, it's not my job to make sure that I have ten of them so that I can make twenty five dollars. Just like the Pac-12 and any other conference wouldn't say it's not necessarily our job to promote Apple TV. It's Apple TV's job to promote us so that your subscriptions go up. So also when you're trying to figure out, well, how many subscriptions can we get? Well, if you don't get any, then that's a tough thing for... Which then you don't know if you're going to get a million of them or five million of them or... 200,000 of them. Also... Which means it's not really money because that's basically a bonus structure, not... What is the, here's the ground level of where we start. Ask the act, the actors and writers who are on strike right now about how forthcoming the streamers are with their actual viewership mm -hmm. numbers and subscriber numbers. They're not very transparent. Now, maybe the Pac-12 has more power brokers than, say, the writers' union of guys who sit in a room and, and tell you know, write jokes for a sitcom for, uh, for a living, but even still, that's a precarious position to be in, and... If you have options, I'm not sure if you would accept that deal, knowing that you could go somewhere else and not have to promote the streaming service you're on. So those things to me and those escalators would make me very nervous if I'm anybody in the conference. Now, the ones with less options, I mean, you know, Oregon State might say, like, look, we'll um, give you a free Apple TV Plus subscription every your admission to the school. I don't just so we can get people hooked on it and, and watching. I don't know, but there are so many different layers to this. And once again, if the deals, if this is the first deal they've seen, this is the first one. I cannot stress that enough. This is the first time that the presidents of these nine schools have seen numbers on a deal. Well, here's another thing. You know what a commission structure is? Do you know what a bonus structure is? Do you know what that is? extra that means merit-based yeah. you have a salary or however you're paid based on who you are whether it's hourly whether you're a part of a union or your contract labor like we are you you have what you get paid but a commission and or bonus structure is something you've earned above and beyond whatever your value is not in every business in most professions so here's um here's a note uh, this is from somebody that uh, we've been in communication with quite a bit, but this is from somebody who is a part of an administration in the Big 12. Sent this to me. I asked the question, how legitimate is the interest or heat when it comes to Arizona? The response was, "It's there's the flame, hot, but may not be immediate because I think a lot of people think even something could happen today or tomorrow, as in today or even this week. Jason Shear has stressed this, as others. Uh, these are big decisions with lots of moving pieces for an institution. I've been through it several times from the inside. By the way, speaking of that, from one point of view, Bob Thompson today will join us at 5. Jason Shear, with anything new he's learned in the next hour, will join us today at 4 o'clock Central Time. Also, um, Arizona, maybe tomorrow, and then is there a chance that Utah and Arizona State are trying to go, wait a minute, there is a, a game here. There's a chair open, maybe three, like we discussed quite a bit yesterday. 
do we want to sit in one of those chairs? Even if maybe they don't, do they need to think about it even more seriously? Scott Mitchell, former Utah, go ahead and finish up on that thought, Paul. And then Scott Mitchell, former Utah quarterback, who's in radio at Salt Lake City, former NFL quarterback, will join us. Yeah, there are some hurdles for the conference uh, to to climb. Brett McMurphy reported, we had him on the show last week, he, he explained it to us. I, I actually talked to our friend Jim Williams today to kind of okay. h- help me understand what the... Like why Brett Yormark can't just call up and be like, "Hey, how do you how does Fox feel about 16?" ESPN has agreed to pay a full share up to 16 teams. Fox has agreed to pay a full share up to 14 teams. So, Brett Yormark would have to go back to the table and that means negotiating and some some things would probably have to be given because Fox, you're talking about, you know, yes, old Uncle Rupee has the money, you know, mm-hmm. Rupert's got the money, but you're talking about paying so let's say I'm rounding it off to $32 million a year because I don't want to do decimal points. So $64 million a year for the two new schools for six or seven years. So you're talking about, you know, what? Almost $400 million? Not a lot of money. $400 million more million you're going to have to pay out. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of things that you have to have available for. So that's just for two more schools for the Big 12. Now, I think Brett Yormark could probably get that over the finish line, and I'm sure he's had this contingency plan in the holster, but... That doesn't mean that Fox is just going to go, yeah, do whatever you want. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's their money, not the Big 